In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a 404 page. Now, this is a page which people see when they uh, try to access a page that does not exist on your website. So this page is now easier to build because of the new Divi theme builder. So I'm going to show you step by step how to create this page. And also the good thing about this is you can actually design this page today and have it absolutely working on your website. Before we get started, I'd also like to remind you that if you haven't bought Divi yet, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my Divi Blueprint course. This is a course which teaches you how to design websites using Divi. Now, the other way to get this, of course, is to become a VIP member, and this is only $11 per month. Now, this price will be going up very soon, so make sure you get locked into the $11 per month. Now, this will give you access to all the courses on funnels2income.com and any future courses, as long as your membership is is active. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to create this 404 page. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go back over here to our theme builder. So you can see here, this is where my 404 page is. So I'm going to make things very, very easy for you. I'm going to delete this so we can start from scratch. All right, so if we want to add a brand new template, all we need to do is to click on this plus button. And then you can see we have all these options here of templates that we can build. So I'm going to go all the way down here. And this is where we have the 404 page. Now, what I want to do quickly is I want to show you what happens when we try to access a link or a page that does not exist on our website. So I'm just going to open up a link here. I'm just going to type some gibberish like that. And uh, currently, this is what happens. This is the page that we get. Now, as you can see, this is very, very annoying because um, before we could not do anything to actually fix this problem. But now with the theme builder, we can actually go in and customize our page uh, and make sure that people visit this page when they land on our website. All right, so now we're gonna come over here, click on this plus button, scroll all the way down here and choose 404 page and then click on create template. All right, so this is our template right here. So it has a default footer. So I'm gonna delete that because I don't need a footer on uh, the default footer on this 404 page. Next, we're gonna come over here to add custom body. This is where our main design is going to be. Click on build custom body. And then what we're gonna do here is we are going to build our design from scratch. So let's go ahead and select it. Great, so next we're gonna have one column. And uh, I'm just gonna close this for now because I need to do some settings here on our section. So I'm gonna come over here to the top left, click here on this gear icon, and then we're gonna come over here to design sizing. Now it's very important here that we have our minimum height set to 100 VH. Now this is what enables our page to always be full screen. And this is what we need. We want our page to always be full screen. All right, so over here on the minimum heights, we're gonna set this to 100 VH. Great, so that's the only setting that we need to do. And uh, let's head over here now to our content. Now here we can be also, you know, crazy creative. So we can start here by adding a background. So let's add a gradient background. We're gonna click on this plus button. Now you can choose any colors that you want, colors that work with your branding, it's all good. So I'm just gonna go with these colors that I have on my color palette. In fact, let me go with this one here. Okay, so these are the colors I'm gonna use. Next, I can also add an image here. So um, let's design this without the image so that I can just show you how to do it the easy way and also if you wanna be a bit more creative. All right, so now that we have this all set, I'm gonna save this. And then over here now, we can start adding our modules and my first module here is gonna be a text module. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And this is where we're going to add a message which says, page not found. I think that's a, um, a decent one. So let's add page not found here. So that's going to be our first message. Now let's customize this text by coming over here to this design tab. So here, let's go to text default. Let's change this to poppins. And by the way, you can use any font that you want. Uh, and then here, let's make it bold. Or oh, let's make it semi bold. All caps. And let's increase the size. Uh, let's set this to let's start with 4VW. All right, so that's a bit too much. So let's bring it down to three. Great. Uh, and then the next thing we're gonna do here is to add some letter spacing. I think four is okay. And then we are going to, let's see what, okay, we need to center it. So let's go ahead and center this. 
Now the color here doesn't look right. So we want a color that's easier to read on this background. So we're gonna go with this color here. And again, this color is from my palette and you can use any colors as I mentioned. All right, so now that we have that, that's looking great. Let's go ahead and save it. Next, we need to add another one. And this is going to have our main 404 um, text. So let's uh, duplicate this, go into the settings, change this to 404. And now we are going to set this to heading one. Then over here on design, we're gonna to come to our heading text, change our font to Poppins, make this bold, and it's already centered, so that's great. And we're gonna choose our color here. So I'm gonna go with white. And uh, for our size, let's go with 30 VW. Now the reason why I'm using VW here is it makes it easier to scale when we move to different screen sizes. So VW is mainly used for that. Okay, so, but of course you should not use it like everywhere because it just follows the size of the screen. I'll make a video to explain this further. All right, so now that we have this, uh, we also need one more thing here and that is a button that takes us to the home page. So let's add our button here. So now let's say, take me home. That's gonna be our message. And of course you can be creative with this. And now over here on the design, let's go to alignment. We're gonna center this. And now let's customize this button by coming over here to button and activating use custom styles for button. So what we're gonna do here is let's start by changing the color of our text here and let's style it further. Now the size is a bit too much here. So let's reduce it to about, let's make it 13. Okay, so now let's move on here. And uh, for this design, we're not gonna add a background color. We're just gonna keep it simple. And then we need to work on our border radius add 100 pixels here, letter spacing, let's give this uh, maybe, let's give it two. Now over here on font, let's be consistent, let's set it to uh, Poppins, and we're gonna make it semi bold and all caps. Great, so our button is looking okay now. Uh, we can also add a, an icon here, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one here. And here where it says only show icon on hover for button, let's say no, so that we can always see our icon. So that's looking great, nice and simple, and save. Now what we can also do here is, uh, let's add a bit of uh, padding here on the top. Okay, so let's go with 100. Over here with this text, we can actually go in and customize this further. We can give it a drop shadow. Let's go to heading text. Now let's go to the drop shadow. So there we go. So we can actually add a drop shadow. And as you can see, this looks really, really cool. And we can further customize this by coming over here and moving this ever so slightly, we can move it over here like that. And we can also give it a color. So let's say, we give it this color right here. Well, let's go with that. So that matches pretty much our branding and that looks really, really nice. So this could be our first design. But if you wanna go crazy with this and do something a bit different, what you can actually do is to add an image here to the background. So um, let's get rid of this shadow save this now let's go to our section settings background now we're going to come over here to this third tab click on this plus button now i have an image here now it's really cool to have an image that works or that goes with the type of message that you have on your on your 404 page so i'm going to go with this one here with a guy that's frustrated that he's gone to uh, the wrong page all right so let's click upload an image and by the way this is a free image i got it from uh, pexels.com all right, so that's my image right here. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is, uh, if you wanna add a blending mode to work with uh, our background color here, we can also do that. But if you wanna leave it as it is, in fact, you know what? I think I like the way it is. So let's save this, right? And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go in here and add some transparency to our text. So let's come over here to filter. So we can reduce the opacity here like that to about maybe 46%. And that could be pretty much our design for our 404 page. One thing that you can also do is you can come over here on uh, the brightness, reduce the brightness like that. But of course that doesn't look nice. So let's, let's stick with opacity. So let's add a bit of opacity here. 
And uh, I think also if we add a different color to this text, it may even look better. Okay, I think I like that. Right, so that's gonna be our design. Now let's save this and let's save it one more time. This is the design that we had initially. So as you can see, this design does not look good at all. I mean, come on, I think you'll agree with me. Now, now that I've saved my theme, I'm gonna refresh this and let's see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh it and this becomes our 404 page. Now, here's the thing. Uh, with this design, I don't really like um, the header that we have here by default and uh, the footer, if we had a footer. So ideally, I just wanna have a page which does not have a header and a footer. So as you can see here, this is a bit, yeah, it's distracting, I don't like that. All right, so to get rid of the header and footer, what we need to do is to come over here to the 404 page template and then just click on this eye icon. Now this will hide the main header and this will also do the same to the footer. So let's save this and let's take a look at the design now. Okay, so now that it's saved, I'm gonna come over here. Let's refresh the page. There we go. So now we don't have any headers, we don't have any footers, and this is full page. Now, I know what you're gonna ask. You're probably gonna say, right, maybe this doesn't work on a mobile device. Now, let me show you what it looks like on mobile devices. All right, so I'm gonna come over here. I'm just gonna grab one of these corners here. And maybe that's how it would look on a, on a tablet. And then all the way here is how it would look like on a mobile device. So what you could also do here is to add a bit of padding so this is more centered, but that's an easy fix. Now there's something that I forgot to mention here, and that is we need to add a link to the home uh, to the um, home page. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna come back over here and quickly on our button, we're gonna click here and over here on the link, you wanna add your link URL. So this could be this link right here copy it and paste it here. All right, so let's take a look and see if this button is now working. So I'm gonna refresh this page. And when I come over here to the button and click it, it takes me to my home page. So that is how you design a 404 page. Now, if you like this design, let me know in the comments box below and I can share this uh, layout with you. You can just go ahead and uh, import it onto your own website and you know, now you have a 404 page. All right, guys, now tell me what you think about this. Uh, if you have any other tips that you may want to add to this, just let me know in the comments box below. And if you're still confused how to set it up, just let me know so I can design future uh, tutorials that can explain uh, this even better. All right, so that's all I have for today's tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. By subscribing and hitting the bell notification, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.